Hey love bugs, this is Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed, I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown, extended, beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while, I have not already please you know like and subscribe hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also if you um oh yeah make sure you hit the all so you can be able to get notified for that when you hit the the subscribe button um and if you feel like the videos truly resonate with you give a thumbs up and share and please drop a line let me know where you're watching uh, your geographical location, you know, where you're watching it from overseas or in the U.S. or whatever, you know, be greatly appreciated. Give a thumbs up and share. Anybody going through to get two, I'm sending so many blessings towards you a million, million times fold. Don't sleep on yourself. Don't doubt yourself. Stay persistent, consistent, and determined, and use hellified, you know, discipline, and really being moved by your intuitions, not by your emotions and feelings, Okay. Um, and anybody who's coming in with the Septicon ass energy, hey, we're not claiming that. Whether it's for me or for anybody else, we're not claiming that. We know where we want our lives to go and, you know, it's just not happening. Anyway, so the video that I'm doing today um, is Twin Flame 101. It's like, hey, Ogus, the, the you know, your, your shift has really been causing a lot of tower moments. <laughs> it's really been causing a lot of tower moments like I don't know what y'all been doing but baby keep on doing it whether it's like you, you're allowing yourself to see that you have the choice to create you know what your reality is you know you're not being no more lured or being manipulated in different things just because you may be facing a lot of hardship right now these are the different things that's taking you through all these changes where you're clearing out what's old, what's cleaning out, what's outdated, what is no longer serving you, bring any value to your life. You know, you've been going through that. You know, there's been heavy, you know, spiritual notifications coming in saying, you know, your your crown chakra may have been itching. My head been itching like crazy. I remember, you know, I washed my head the other day and I was just scrubbing and, you know, scratching and stuff like that. But you're getting so much downloads where it's waking you up out of your sleep or your your dreams are starting to, you know, give a lot of omens or a lot of different things that's taking place in your life that is making spiritual sense to, you know, hey, this is what's going on in your life. You know, you're being persistent, you know, more and more lately that you're, you're not thinking of the negative. You're not, you know, thinking of the past or, you know, allowing ego or pride to get in the way to make you feel like, oh, you should have been further than where you are. If, the, if that was the case, you would be there. Okay, you're going through that process, wherever it is, you don't know where, you know, God's plans for you is. You know, you may have had this ideal view, or maybe even God gave you a view that just seems like preposterous. Like, this ain't no way in hell this can work for me. And it's just like, whatever you put your mind to, why do you think it's heavily, heavy, heavy on influence? Your mind, your mind is the most powerful weapon you have. That runs, you know, hand in hand to your heart and soul. You know what I'm saying? Your mind is so damn powerful. You know, it would just be like thinking when you're putting your energy on the wrong thing. And you wonder why your life is, you know, falling short. Or hell's breaking loose into your life. You know, different stuff like that. Because, you're, you know, your energy is focused on the things that people are doing. Or the things that you feel like people may be getting away with. Been there. <laughs> you know, I had to change my mindset. It's like, man, this is happening for me and not to me. I'm no longer bearing other people's blessings. I mean, bearing other people's burdens. You know, I don't clear up my slate. I don't clear up my karma. I'd be damned if I'd be going up this daggone mountain, even with the mess I didn't even want to even face. I was bold enough to be able to face that. Because you have to understand, even if you have to cyclically put that on repeat in your mind it's like affirming you are so much stronger than you give yourself credit for you are so much more powerful than you actually realize you know it's starting to now it's starting to form in where you know you may may have heard you know the people that did what they did to you are catching it you you don't believe it like whatever 
<laughs> you know, it's just whatever. You know, and now it's just like you want a confirmation because it's like you know you talking and I'm I'm more of an action person. It's like well, my words is are they connection to where my answer is or my you know my action is where my energy is 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 it on the same level? Because I you know I came from the show me state. You know I just left from the show me state. I ain't came from there. But show me. You know, I'm tired of hearing all this talking. And then when you start seeing stuff like, you know, universe is like that. You may even get, like, if you win a heavy tarot card readings, you or you may get a, a, a mental vision of where people are holding their hands over their eyes. I think it's like Six of Swords. <laughs> Six of Swords, Nine of Swords, or whatever, where, where you see that, that tarot card where people are losing sleep. You are haunting people in their waking life as well as their dreams. All because of the shifts you've been making. You don't took your power back. Now people are, you know, now their lives are turning up. Whatever you were experiencing now, your load is being lightened. You're heavy. Your heart is no longer heavy because you made that choice. There's a lot of things that people put you in in a cal caliber where... You, you were just a lost cause for yourself. You know, you're useless. No, nothing good going to come for you. Nobody's going to support you. Nobody's going to love you. And they wanted to brainwash you into feeling like that. You see how people are, like, not in your life? Are you seeing how people are falling out of your life? The only reason why people are falling out of your life, like, if you have been in that vibe, like, God, I just, I, I want you to show me. Show me, you know, the people don't mean right for my life this Speaking ill will on me, you know, doing things that's like stabbing me in my back on some words that I, I didn't hear them say, but you did. Stabbing me in my back constantly. And, you know, trying to throw a rock and hide the hand, trying to gaslight me. Anything that is holding me back from being me, then all of a sudden all people start dropping out your life. Because they didn't mean good for you. Or it was just the fact that they had ill will for you. Or it was at that moment where friendships are always meant to last. You you had to experience these at a certain level. Now since you're no longer on that level and you don't upgrade it, then that situation may, you know, fall out. You know, be thinking somebody don't block you like, oh, I'm just blocked them because it's like he he he. You know, it's a pride of ego thing and not realizing you are gonna sit up here and made an intention for God to reveal to you and take away anybody who's not serving you. You are leveling up to anything that is not on your frequency in this way below. That it is like not trying to make an effort on making any kind of transmutation into anything better, anything changing, anything trying to make an effort on healing is falling away from your life. It's being burnt out. You know, no matter what people mindset is, like, oh, I don't care what God say. That's the biggest joke that you can say. <laughs> Where you feel like you pro you powerful than God, like I can shut any door that God got for somebody, or if I don't feel like they deserve that because I can't profit off of it, they're not going to either. There's a lot of people that has that mind on that, or that was supposed to be mine, you know. And I'll tell anybody, especially my enemies, if you gotta go through the death of witchery, cruelty, I mean, doing the things that you're doing that you can't proudly say that you're doing. You already know you that that's that that's not your destiny. That's not where your path is leading you to. Actually, it's taking you away from it, whether or not you had a taste of it or not. You know, things are being brief. Like anything that you know, a lot of times when when we go through different changes and we feel like you're the one who's doing good, why is all hell reaping in my life? And it just seems like the people that are doing the foul stuff to me, the things that they're trying to claim I'm doing when it's them. You know, it seemed like they being glorified for it. This and this and that. Everything ain't what it seems. Your life ain't always going to be this way. When you hold that mindset, this, everything that I'm going through is temporary. Just because it's been storming in my life, I had to learn how to dance in the damn rain. You know, rain man, rain dance, whatever. You know, you doing that. Even our ancestors did it. That's how we connect to nature. That's how we connect with God. This is, you know, you're purifying yourself. And I see a lot of people dancing in the rain. And also I see a lot of people, you know, like I said, I seen the death card. 
that's coming up. Like this, where when I'm seeing this tarot card or the death card, this like this is an inevitable. No matter what you do, no matter what you say, there's no way around it. You know, it, it, you're gonna have to face it, whether or not this is you or the people that's going against you. You know, you're going through discrete changes that you're not announcing. You know, you're not doing things in routine. Especially, you know, that's an uncomfortable position when you got OCD, PTSD, ADHD, ADD, all those different acronyms where you got to do things. You making challenging sacrifices for yourself. You know, it makes you more complete, makes you more in control when you can do things at a certain, you know, at a certain repetitive like, okay, I got to do these in threes or I got to do this in sixes. You know, I'm doing this. Well, I'll, you know, I'm usually doing this. Get out of your routine. Okay. You are healing. You are growing. You are more in tune. You are present. There is people in your vibration and desperate minds come for desperate matters. There's desperate moments for desperate matters. And they do not want to lose. Okay. It could be that. But knowing you are protected. Anything that's staying in physical contact, emotional contact, spiritual contact with you that goes against the grain is because it's challenging you. Know yourself. Know your power. Be intense with the connection of your intuition. You know how you were attached to something that you felt like you could never get rid of. Like it was a parasite that you never could get rid of. And miraculously, by the process that's taking place and the choices you're choosing and the shifts that there's guiding you intuitively is making all hell break loose. All hell break loose. This is not for the weak. And then you keep hearing that what you're doing is for the weak. Even if family want to talk mess about you. People that even could be doing better than you want to talk about you. Mentally wise, I mean, these people can have a trillion dollars. And at the moment, they talking on a person that's trying to create a come up for them. Like even when you had to do it the long way, the hard way, and you are not seeing that person's, you know, I say even when that person is on that ground, I respect that. Because that person is opening their self up to make a better you know, perspective of themselves, trying to make their life better, trying to make their reality better. You're taking that growth in ways that you, you never, I mean, you surprising you by the choices you're making. Like even when something tries to trigger you or get your direct reaction, God will put you in that test. Like I said, we're going through heavy life lessons right now. Like I said, he trying to make sure you, wherever he placing you at, there's people speaking on you and doors you ain't never even knocked on. People that know you and knows your image. People are having dreams about you. There, there's some kind of things that's going on. Your enemy sees something good is coming for you in your life. And they want, if they can't be attached to it, if they can't manipulate it, if they can't steal it. They trying to do everything they can to, they, they are trying to destroy you. So the only things they got left to do is distract and delay. And divide and delete. You know, these folks don't lost everything. And don't think a person ain't got nothing to lose. Ain't got no problem with helping you lose yours too. Because they already done seen by the while it was too late. Hey, you done messed up. You done messed up. You trying to destroy people's lives. Do you realize you destroying your own life? Trying to destroy other people's. There are some people that be so, so gun ho on destroying you. They will lose their freedom as well as their life. Long as they know that you didn't get what was destined for you. Your blessings is not your blessings is not based off of what other people feel like you deserve. And now you got that mindset of that. Only God can shut a door. Or I can shut a door if that's what I choose to do. Because people will put on that, that, that mind intention where this is what they want for you. No matter what, I'm going to make it hard for them. They ain't going to be happy with the person that they're destined to be with. And a lot of times you had to deal with the fuckery and the foolery with the toxic person just to prepare you for the person that you're destined to be with. This person going to see you. You ain't gonna have to give them a million chances to be in your life. They gonna see what they no, this is 
this is a, you know, this is a blessing from God right here. I ain't about to mess up because they already done seen and respected your energy right before you even had to even open your mouth. That you had to be able to go through that. Your karmics lead you to a twin flame, or a karmics believe you t towards what's destined for you. That's going to see everything that you've been trying to force other people to see for the longest time. And a lot of times they seen it. And a lot of times they were triggered by that. Just because you ain't got to put on a facade to sit up here and, and gain love and gain attention. It's just your energy naturally attracts that. It ain't up to you to explain something that should be already being felt. What ain't being said should be strongly understood. And if they can't, maybe they weren't ready for that message in the first place. It's like, that's clickbait. No, you just weren't ready for it. You just wasn't. You know, or that message wasn't for you. You know, you're going through all these different changes and the shifts that you're going through. And um, it's necessary. And, you know, you're being congratulated about that. You know, it's like they already got the streamers and everything up for you. Because it's just like you are doing a good job. The things you doubted about yourself, you are strongly secure with. You stepping foot in your consciousness. You are, I mean, very, like, elevated in your tuition, your intuition. You getting spiritual inheritance left and right, left and right, because you're making the right choices. And you seeing it, it's like when I tell you, out, like I was seeing that card, the death card is coming to an end. It's like anything that people are refusing to recognize or re refusing to take accountability for. Just refusing everything that, you know, where they're intuitive and their spirit guides are just tired. It, whatever they got left, you know, literally some of them, get, you know what, this person got me drinking, they got me smoking, I got so many, I'm getting their kind of attachment, I can understand why they like that. I can't, uh-uh. <laughs> Don't mess up their whole bloodline, you know. And those are the different things that's taking place into the life where you're making better choices for yourself. You live in abundantly, you could be the most brokest person, financially it is, but you live in abundantly through spirit. You know, because you don't know where your path is taking you to. But you know, you, you allowing yourself to choose yourself. Even if a lot of times it hurt you to be able to do that or you felt like, you know, you were losing somebody. To put it this way, anybody that respects you and loves you will want you to choose yourself. Will want to see you happy. Whether or not they can be attached to that happiness or not. They want to see you grow. They want to see you heal. Love don't hurt. Love don't manipulate. Love don't belittle. Love don't control. And love don't manipulate. I had to say that again. It just don't. That's not love. That's, that's just control. And you're going through all these different things. And I mean, it makes me feel good where I'm seeing this going through the collective. Like you've been going through some stuff. Like any, I feel like anybody who got patience and is okay with challenges, this will be something that may that probably would make them second guess. There's a lot of things that you're facing and you're overcoming and you're healing and you have outgrown that should have destroyed you. And I mean, even you're shook because you've seen the initial changes you did not think you had the power to do. It's like now your, your power and your energy is speaking. Your silence is speaking. Things that people are trying to control that they can't control is giving them a hit of reality, whether or not they take it or not. You know, it's showing. You know, no matter what others are doing, you stay focused on what you're trying to do for you. You know, anybody who moves through good intentions, you're going to always win. You know, even if it may take you a minute, you're going to always win. A lot of times we got to go through the upheavals, the unfair advantages, the unfair decisions, you know, the, just the real foul stuff because there's something in your life that's going to ignite some kind of purpose in you and you don't know where that's going to lead you. You just don't know. But I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. Much love to you. If you feel generous enough to drop a donation, you know, Cash App is there. If you feel like, you know, connecting with me on my other social media handles, um, that's there as well. Uh, and much love to you. Have a blessed day, afternoon, 
you know, night, weekend, weekday, whenever you see this is timeless, you know, um, and much love, God bless, shalom, I say, I love y'all, and thanks for the support, and peace, and namaste.